Hello, my name is Tom Zimmerman and welcome to my channel. This is not the light I'll be using. I just purchased two lights. I will be opening them up and see how they work to brighten up the room, to brighten up my face. I've been instructed on YouTube. Um, there's a, a bunch of YouTube professionals that you can find on YouTube that will tell you what equipment to use, how to use it, when to use it. I based, I'm going to have a basic setup here in my house. It just recently established this room, it used to be my son's bedroom. And hopefully I'll make it into a nice uh, YouTube studio. Uh, Tom Zimmerman. I talk about living sensations and I should uh, emphasize that I'm going to specifically talk more about the, the body, mind and spirit. I usually start the body, mind and then the spirit. Never, it doesn't have to be in that order. It could be the spirit, mind and body or mind, mind, body and spirit. But I like to establish the body, mind and spirit. Uh, going forward. It's just my preference. Uh, in regards to mind, body, and spirit, um, to have them all three connected and working in, in a continuum usually develops uh, an aura of well-being. When I say aura, that might be the wrong word, but basically you have this presence of being happy, healthy, and connected um, with energy outside your body. At the same time, that energy outside your body provides you energy inside your body, lightens your mind, and sparks your spirit. So, you've probably seen some of my videos. My videos are usually epic adventures in the mountains. I ski Killington on a regular basis in the winter. I have a midweek, a midweek pass. And uh, good friends of mine uh, invited me to Whistler Blackcomb in Canada, which I got to experience that part of the world. It's unbelievable skiing. If you've never skied Black Blackcomb Whistler or Whistler Blackcomb, um, please check it out. It's a, a wonderful place to be on the West Coast. Uh, it's the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, it's up in Canada, above Seattle, Vancouver, and on up. It's a beautiful location. Um, I'm also, I also have videos of hiking Colorado, I call it. It's the San Juan Mountains and the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. I've been going out there for the last four years, visiting my sister, and having an epic time playing in the in the Rocky Mountains and the San Juan Mountains, Colorado. It's a super playland for hikers, um, landscape photographers. You could do just about anything out there. Not saying you can't do that in New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. Um, you could do the same thing here, but you don't have the same elevation. And you, you just have any area in Colorado you can head and you'll find epic mountains, lakes. The skiing is unbelievable, I understand. Um, I have not experienced that. The only place I skied out there it was uh, in the Mesa above Grand, Country, Grand Junction, Colorado, and that was really nice. So I look forward to doing that, God willing, uh, when I retire, uh, which would be in the near future. I'm gonna spend more time out in Colorado but I will be venturing out throughout the United States. I have my my van, Van Do It, called the Black Beauty. Um, that's also on my videos. Um, my last trip out to Colorado and also my my adventures um, during COVID, where one of the reasons why I got it so uh, when I did is that I was able to boondock up in Vermont uh, and uh, had a, a tremendous experience. So I'm just testing out uh, my GoPro. Uh, I've seen a video in regards to 
doing YouTube videos. I don't have a, a regular camera. I use my GoPro for adventures. Excuse me, I got some allergies. Um, I also have an old Canon uh, just for videos that I purchased before I took the kids to Disney. So uh, I'm excited to see how this turns out with the GoPro. I hope I have the right settings and uh, I do not, I have not put my new lights up yet so the lighting is probably not good. Um, I probably have shadows and I probably don't look uh, that lit up. I probably don't look well in this type of lighting which I understand is a real problem if you don't have the right lighting so that's why I purchased some lighting. So I'm doing this video now uh, prior to the lights. I waited a long time to start doing videos like this and I'm excited to do more. If you have subscribed to my channel, uh, this is a little different. I hope you don't mind me doing you know, a uh, talking headshot. Usually I'm behind the camera, uh, you're actually seeing what I see and I feel much more comfortable that way uh, instead of sitting in front of the camera. I'm doing this for the first time just to warm up. Excuse me and just to get the feel. So I'm trying to imagine that I'm talking to an individual like I would normally do, but talking into a camera is a little awkward. Um, usually I have a real person in front of me, but hey, um, you're watching me right now. Uh, hopefully I get that connected that I know that I'm going to be connecting with you in regards to what I have, uh, what I can share with you uh, and also what you can share with me. I want this to be interactive. I want you to be able to tell me what interests you have, what you'd like me to discuss. I'm 63 years old. I have a lot of experience. Uh, my background is in recreation therapy. I was a recreation therapist for a number of years with different, uh, different uh, segments of recreation therapy. I worked with geriatrics, I worked with adolescents, I worked with uh, physical rehab, I worked in alcohol and, uh, and other addictions, not as much as uh, I would have liked to, but that was some experience. And I've worked mostly in mental health. I worked in an open, uh, as they used to call it, open psych unit. <laughs> but it's behavior health. It's a, it was an open unit, and uh, did a lot of a lot of cool stuff with uh, some really cool people. With uh, very interesting, I learned a lot from the people I worked with. And I worked uh, with developmentally disabled, and I spent. My career after I got my master's in public and healthcare administration, after I got some administration experience, I went back to residential and I worked with individuals and their families uh, uh, challenged with uh, behavioral health issues. I shouldn't say issues, but uh, mental health diagnoses. Um, it started out with uh, working with people with what is called serious and persistent mental illness. Um, in a residential settings and we had different levels of housing, um, community residents, treatment apartments and supportive housing. We also had another, we have another uh, corporation called Joseph's Home and that's for affordable uh, special needs housing, uh, rooming house and affordable housing and we also have Homes for Heroes and we provide housing for homeless uh, veterans. So it, I really uh, enjoyed my career. Uh, I've been able to work close to home. I raised a family of uh, with three children, uh, a son and two daughters. Um, my, uh, my oldest two, my son and my oldest daughter are living out of the house now on their own, established into their careers. And my youngest daughter is living at home and going to Hunter College and she's studying to be a, a, a licensed social worker and she's working two jobs and going to school full time. So she's, she's home, but she's mostly out of the house or right now she's 
she's uh, doing her classwork in the in the room next door so we're making the best of it I have more time for myself and so I really enjoy um, helping others and I'm hoping that I could help anyone who's interested in tapping into living sensations I, I will talk about positive and negative living sensations um, and how to deal with the negative so that you can enjoy more positive living sensations and I also talk about uh, our soul connections you know I talk about mind body and spirit and also uh, transcending uh, our lives meaning rising above where you presently are um, it's almost like self -actual actualization uh, but it's really uh, growing as an individual and getting to different um, spheres of your awareness uh, your connection to your body mind and spirit and having that continuity uh, on a more continuous basis where you experience well-being and hopefully a more continuum of well-being even though that um, you know health and happiness and uh, spirituality is important um, it's a combination of all three and uh, mind body and spirit or body mind and spirit or spirit mind and body uh, when you have them connected you usually get the overall um, spectrum of well-being uh, there's this, so many sciences I shouldn't say sciences but different um, teachings of well-being there's eight areas of well-being or seven depending on who you speak to but I like to stick with the, uh, the body mind and spirit and incorporate all the other subcategories that are interchangeable and mixed together up and down inside out in and out upside down here there everywhere <laughs> I try to keep a sense of humor uh, I'm not a PhD I do not get into the specific sciences all the time but I'm a more generalist if you want to get in more specific areas and deep uh, dig deeper or dive deeper or um, climb higher uh, or into the cave of the science uh, there are so many other um, individuals out there or groups that uh, will provide that information with you and I will provide you with links uh, down the road so that you can explore even more than uh, just me I'm going to hopefully introduce you to certain areas that you're going to really get into and I'm going to try to keep it light um, entertaining um, I will continue to do my travel and adventures and I'll be doing talking heads or uh, talking head and uh, hopefully someday you know we'll get into more of uh, you know interviews maybe with certain people because you don't want to hear me all the time uh, I want to hear from you um, and hopefully we will be able to go live at times and we could have a, a number of people join us and we could open it up to everyone else and share their experiences and what they think about uh, well-being and uh, and share their experiences because I would love to hear from all of you thank you very much for taking the time out to, to hear my spiel um, this is again my first time and I know I will edit some of this I don't know how it's going to turn out I know lighting is probably terrible I do have an, a mic you know, a very uh, hairy mic on top of my GoPro I hope the setting is correct if not I will be doing this again so stay tuned be well